fake with some signs. God emblem. Um, today it's like it's the wisdom build day or whatnot. So I've been dealing with a lot of building and shit, particularly when it comes to my thoughts. So this ain't no real interview. This ain't no interview or nothing, but. I got this other hobby, right? And I got well, I've always it's 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 not so much a hobby as it is a way of life. Knowledge wisdom cipher is a way of life, it's not a hobby. But when we dealing with that knowledge, um the knowledge of the destroy degree and the knowledge culture decipher, what's the duty of a civilized person? Duty of a civilized person is to teach he who is savage civilization righteousness, the knowledge of himself and the science of everything in life, love, peace, and happiness. All right. So I study, like we all should, the sciences of everything in life. Some people study Egyptology. You know what I mean? Some people study the Yoruba, Yoruba, other ancient uh, systems or whatnot. That's called, that's what that's their practice. You know, but in our practice, it talks about we study the science of everything on life, the science of everything in life. So it's like 120 is a foundation. You know what I mean? So everything we study, we built upon that. We build, we build on that. Now, uh, when I went away to college, I studied uh, political science. That was my major, and my minor was philosophy. Right, and I I I um I study uh, philosophical thought, like cats like Kant, Voltaire, um, Sartre, Nietzsche, uh, Hildegard, all of them. You know what I mean? You you go through them and you read uh their their papers on existentialism, um, and this one other thing, nihilism, whatever they whatever the epistemology. One of the things that has fascinated me about uh, uh, philosophy is one of the branches called ontology. Now, the thing about ontology is ontology is like the art and the science of being or like existence. That's what ontology is, kind of similar to existentialism in a certain type of way. But ontology um, breaks down into a mathematical branch. Like if you Google something, <laughs> I said, I said Google. <laughs> no, but if you Google something, and uh, it comes up with like the uh, the uh, the URL things of that nature. So ontology is how they begin to classify systems. So first, it's looked upon as uh, the art and the science of being, but then. It's looked upon as uh, a, a system of classification. And so I had took this class, right? <clears throat> it was across the street from Madison Square Garden. You got to do the knowledge on it. The class was, uh, it was a three-day seminar, Understanding Days, and it was like knowledge, knowledge power hours a day. I'm talking about, and they only allowed you very few breaks. It's based upon this system called EST, something like that. But the name of the class, the name of the people who gave the course was these people called um, the Landmark Forum. They gave the course, you know what I mean, and they study a branch of ontology, you know, original people, colored people, whatnot, everybody, no no uh, religious affiliations, nothing like that. And it goes into ontology. But, and it was good. It was culture add two to take the course. So if you got culture add two to to throw, I mean, I ain't going to say throw away. It's a very interesting experience. It just shows you the degree of information that colored people have. But um, one of the things, you know, just looking at ontology in general, is I'm going to this site, right? The site that I'm going to is called ontology.buffalo.edu slash ontology. I think it's that under part, the underscore maybe, where it's like uh, the dashes on the floor and shit. Okay, ontology long dot PDF, right? Or you could look up ontology and you might find this this site. It's, it opens up into a, a PDF file. And 
on it, right, it talks about, I'm going I'm to read the first uh, sentence to you. It says, ontology as a branch of philosophy, ontology as a branch of philosophy is the science of what is, of the kinds and structures of objects, properties, events, processes, and relations in relations in every area of reality, right? So, right when I draw that up, I'm like, wow! It's taking me into um, uh, it's, it's taking me like into knowledge with some cipher, because I've always been dealing with knowledge with some cipher from that point of view. There's objects in knowledge with some cipher. There's properties. There's events. There's processes and relations in every area of reality. That's why we call it the science of everything in life. Now, I'm going to continue. It says, ontology is often used by philosophers as a synonym for metaphysics. Literally, what comes after the physics. You know what I mean? So, I'm all into this. You know what I mean? I'm drawing this up. like Because, you know, first of all, on a, on a previous blog, I wrote that I don't really subscribe to... Um, Anything becoming non-physical. I used to... Something can be no particular thing, you know, because it's not yet been classified. But basically, the physical reality breaks down infinitely into into energy. You know what I mean? So the energetic and physical realm are just... Ve they're, they're, like, really relative. You know what I mean? So I don't look at metaphysics from that point of view. It's all connected. You know, what I mean, it's when you go into physics and metaphysics, or something is physical or non-physical. I don't deal with that math. It's all physical. You know what I mean? No matter how far it's spaced out in universal terms, it's all physical. So, uh, what it says is, um, ontology is often used by philosophers as a synonym for metaphysics, right? A term which was used by early students of. Aristotle to refer to what Aristotle himself called first philosophy. You know what I mean? So, you know, I don't really... It's interesting that Aristotle called it first philosophy. You know what I mean? Because we always talk about the science of do the knowledge, and knowledge is the foundation. And Aristotle referred to it as first philosophy, interestingly enough. Um, the term ontology or ontologia, was itself coined in 1613 independently by two philosophers, Rudolf Gockel in his Lexicon Philosophicum and Jacob Lothard um, in his Theatrum Philosophicum. The first occurrence in English recorded by OED appears in Bailey's Dictionary in 1721, which defines ontology as an account of being in the abstract. You know what I mean? Now, the thing about it, you know, the colored man, the colored man will abstract some shit. He will definitely make some shit abstract. Um, you know, the colored man is basically abstract himself. He's extracted out of you. You know what I mean? So that's an abstraction, you know what I mean? Because when we look at the knowledge, it says, who is the original man? Then it comes to the colored man. The colored man is showing and proven is extracted uh, from the original man. So the colored man definitely did things in the abstract. You feel me? Um, the methods of philosophy, the methods of philosophical ontology are the methods of philosophy in general. They include the development of theories of wider or narrower scope and the testing and refinement of such theories by meaning by measuring them up, either against difficult counterexamples or against the results of science. Now when I see that, I say show and prove. That's mathematics. So definitely go to this site, right? Do the knowledge. I'm not going to, like, teach the whole site or nothing like that. But I want you to go to, go go do the knowledge and on it. And then after you do the knowledge on it, I want you to deal with, um, go back to the first part where it, it says that um, ontology as a branch of philosophy is the science of what is. 
of the kinds and structures of objects, properties, events, processes, and relations in every area of reality. Do the knowledge on that sentence, and then do the knowledge on knowledge wisdom cipher, and start to begin to pull the characters from knowledge wisdom cipher and see what you're working with. Like pull Yakub from the wisdom degree. You know what I mean? And say, okay, well, what is Yakub uh, a symbol of? You know, I've always drawn him up as a symbol of the ego. Um, pull a wild beast from the wisdom builder, the wisdom builder destroy degree, and ask, well, what is the wild beast a symbol of? A psychological symbol of? What is the nurse a psychological symbol of? Um, what's the what's the uh, prison house mean? You know what I mean? Uh, what does it? What does a grafted snake mean? What does it mean to be uh, uh, to have the sword above your head? You know, um, what's lakes and rivers? So start to just pull the 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 nouns out of knowledge, wisdom, cipher, and then start to psychologically apply them to yourself. You know what I mean? Because it's definitely gonna come out to be on some living mathematics coming in the air. You go to the understanding bill. It says, then why did God make devil? It says to show forth his power, that he is all wise and righteous. So it would be like, well, what devil is being made here? You know what I mean? I think so often we get caught up into the external elements of this math. You know what I mean? But really, this is definitely a war that's within. When that when that math gets turned and honed, uh, inter uh, internally and within, that's when it's true in living. You know what I mean? So you understand, like like I said, I drew you the original man. The original man, the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, and God of the universe. Now, is it hard to fathom in the wisdom degree who is the colored man? The colored man is the Caucasian or white man. Yakub's grafted devil. Now, is it too much to say that that was Yakub's ego? That the colored man is the manifestation of the original man's ego? This is where we get the science of like the big head. You know what I mean? So now we we start to look into the egotistical realms of our own self and the actual physical colored man on earth vanishes. It says... In the knowledge born, knowledge culture, yeah. In the understanding power degree, it says, what's the expiration of the devil civilization? It says, expire, knowledge born, knowledge culture. Right? So, okay. Say, so what is knowledge born, knowledge culture? Well, what's the knowledge of your culture? What is your culture? Your culture is our God. So if the culture is our God, then... That takes you to the knowledge degree. Now, you know culture takes on dual components because it's divine and it's destroyed. So the destructive elements of, the, of, 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 the, of culture come into play there. And those are Yaakov's grafted devil. <laughs> you feel me? And that's an internal culture firstly. And everything we see external is a projection of that cult of what's going on internally. You know what I mean? So it's, it's it's an internal phenomenon of ego. And then we say, you know, who who is the original man? We go through that whole spiel. And we say the original man is the Asiatic black man. Make our own cream of the planet Earth. Father of civilization and God of the universe. We go all into that. But then we also start to say, okay, well, well, he fell. It's kind of like similar to the Genesis. You know what I mean? It was something that made the original people fall and it's described uh you can look at it symbolically realistically literally however you choose to look at it on some level it's truth on all levels if it's truth if it's, if it's on one level so we have to look at it in a historical context so yaku was the father of the devil who taught the devil to do this devilishment and it says yaku's grafted the devil in that wisdom degree when you look internally within the culture, Yaakov's graph devil, devil. So it's the black man's ego, and it's manifested in the wisdom degree. You know why is it manifested in the wisdom degree? If you look at two men and one woman, you'll see why. If you just look at two men 
and one woman. You know, uh, you'll see why. And and what that is is that um, one is it's one man's ego and it's another man's ego. You know, in historical terms, they were the people who followed Yaqub, and they were the people who followed the kings, the king and the aristocrats of of that time. So you know, what I mean, um, so on a historical level, it's true. The ego of man emerges in the idea of Yaqub's or Yaqub's uh, grafted devil. Um, so that's how I. Um, I'm seeing that, like, you know what I mean? I'm seeing it on an internal level. You have to kind of, like, and, and knowledge, wisdom, cipher is so beautiful. If you look at the knowledge, understanding, degree, uh, and, and the knowledge, understanding, equality, you look at the knowledge, understanding, it says what is his own self, right? So it makes you take this journey within. It literally implores you to look within. Once you once you just draw that degree to yourself, it becomes so much bigger than what it just appears to be on the surface. You know what I mean? If you just got through it, you're like, uh, you know, what is his own self? And you go to the next degree. You know what I mean? Then you recite it. You know, all of that is cute. But when you when you slow it down and you amplify it, it says what is his own self? And it's like this... It's like this echo that is so fly, and it just keeps flying deeper inside your inner space. What is his own self for a queen? She can look at it and be like, what is her own self? You know what I mean? So it just keeps going all the way down to the foundation. You know what I mean? Get a boot, 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 a civilization. So that what is his own self? That's 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 like a powerful degree. And then when you get back like to what I was talking about, um, as far as like the ontology current in the air, it's like um, it talks about it says for philo- it's 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 um. It talks about ontology as a branch of philosophy. It's the science of what is, and you know we deal with B, and that's being. Of the kinds and structures of objects, properties, events, processes. Stop right there. Processes. When you stop at processes, you're dealing with like an internal process. What are you processing? You know what I mean? You know, we talk about these uh, computers. How how strong is the processor inside? You know what I mean? Same thing with you. You know what I mean? How strong is the processor inside? The strong in the process, the strong in the process that you can define the process internally. The stronger that process, the more beautiful this math is going to become. You know what I mean? I mean it's beautiful that it's on a social level, right? Okay, you know, you know this God, I know that herb. Okay, yeah, they hooked up with them, they linked that network there. <laughs> All that superficial stuff, that's fly. It's real churchy. <laughs> But the 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 science of this math on its highest level, on its highest current of air, is I came to North America by my motherfucking self. If that ain't the fucking flyest fucking gangster line you ever fucking heard in your life, what? I came to North America by myself. That means if every motherfucker fell off the planet tomorrow, I'm still alone. That's some fly. That's a that's that's a fly ass wisdom degree. You know what I mean? And and the thing about that wisdom degree is that it employs us to look at the knowledge, understanding, and the knowledge to understand equality. What is his own self? Oh man, that current that's electric for real, because it make you look inside, and it makes you deal with the process, your internal dynamic. And once you got all that knowledge, wisdom, cipher inside of yourself, oh man, you start to you start to see your internal dynamic, and you start to understand the um, external dynamic and the external process. For real, you know what I mean. If you understand self, it ain't nothing you can't understand. Cause everything is self. It says you God of the universe. So that's that's knowledge born right there. So go to that site, ontology. 
do the knowledge. Um, and hey, yo, peace. What is his own self? Um, and you know, all of that is the wisdom building destroy, and I'm building on what is his own self. That's just what it is. So, you know, y'all might want to play that that thirteen twenty eight, <laughs> combinate off that shit in the lotto. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'll get up with y'all. Peace, guards. Earth. <laughs> Why they keep on calling my name? 